<laughs> all right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Grill. I'm here at my storage unit, and this morning I had oh, and if you hear music in the background, I don't own the rights to that music or whatever the song is. So YouTube, don't be penalizing me and Instagram if I post it on Instagram. Um, but check this out and Facebook. So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all social media platforms. Don't penalize me for the music that's playing in the background at the storage unit. But um, I came over here today to put some stuff up in their camping gear from Sukkot. And there was a lady that was down here. She was um, moving some stuff in and out the storage unit. And I told her, I said, well, I'll go around. She said, no, you can come on through. So she let me come through. And as I was coming back from my storage unit, she said, do you need a heavy duty tote and i was like at first i thought she meant the cloth type i said well what does it look like she said the black and yellow one and i said yeah that'd be perfect because my wife has you know she has cosmetology school and she uses those for her mannequins so that was a blessing and that's the tote there right there these two so she gave me these out of the blue for free um so i was like okay cool then i looked inside and i saw these and i was like and I was getting ready to tell her, I said, well, ma'am, I think you, you, you left these in here by accident. And she said, you own a house, right? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, there's some shears in there for you um, that you can have to do your hedges and stuff. Now, y'all might think, okay, what's the big deal? The big deal is after I came to the storage unit, guess where I was going? I was on my way to the store to buy some um, shears because the ones that I had, I accidentally left outside about a year or so ago and they rusted real bad. And over the last year and a half, the bushes done grew up real wild and bushy. So I got to trim them down. And that's a blessing. So in this world of hate, in this world of disgust for just human kindness and humanity and stuff, there are still people out there that will come across you and say, hey, let me bless you. And I love that. And that's what life is about, people. So everybody's trying to just do all they can to get over on each other buy this from me buy that from me do something today do something for the rest of your life and blessing other people just be a blessing to people and stop looking to be to, to take advantage of folk and be aware of people trying to take advantage of you i mean <laughs> i'm just totally thrown for a loop i was not expecting this this morning i mean I could have, <coughs> excuse me, I could have went to the store first and then came here, but something said, no, go here first and then go to the store. And I still got to go to the store to get something else. But it's just amazing how things work out when you listen to the Father. I'm telling y'all, you got to, you, when you're looking to be a blessing to others, people will turn around and be a blessing to you. When you give into others, people will give into you. And that's been the story of the life of me and my wife and my whole family. We are always looking to be a blessing to people and then people turn around and bless us. So stop worrying about can you monetize any and everything that you do. Everything that we do don't need to be monetized. Sometimes it's just a matter of just going out there and doing what needs to be done for somebody else. And guess what? Somebody will do what needs to be done for you. Peace.